what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Good news and bad news for Mary J. Blige. The bad news is a judge has ordered her to pay her ex-husband $30,000 per month in alimony. The good news is that's far less than the $130,000 he was asking for. According to TMZ, Mary still has to pay retroactive support dating back to September, including lawyer fees of $235,000. Damn, divorce is expensive. Now, Mary filed for divorce last year. She cited that her husband, who's also her manager, had cheated on her with her protege, her friend, a much younger and attractive girl, may I add. Now, let me get this straight. So dude cheat on her, but she got to pay spousal support to him so that he can continue the lifestyle of the rich and famous and spoiling his mistress with her money, the chick money who he cheated on. What's well, cold game, y'all? I want to know what y'all think because this is what this video is really about. It's really not about Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige piqued my interest and made me want to talk about this, made me want to cover this, but the subject really is alimony. What do y'all think? Do y'all think people should receive alimony? Should they receive spousal support after the relationship is terminated? Is that fair? Let's start with the obvious. So for years, women have received spousal support. But now that the shoe is on the other foot, there's a lot of women who are in an uproar and they're actually trying to advocate changing the laws now. Because men are now cashing in and women are now, many women are now the breadwinner and women are demanding equality. A lot of men are saying, hey, man, well, that's what you asked for. Y'all wanted that. Now you got it. Now what you crying about? I'm going to tell you straight up. I, on a personal level, would have, I would feel some type of way about receiving alimony. But I do believe that this is a good thing. This needs to happen because all too often there are women who receive alimony and they've cheated too. They've uh, been scandalous, no good, a dog the man out, and then when, they, when the relationship is over, they get to walk away with a big old bundle. They walking away with bags. So I think this needs to happen so that women can see what it's like for men, so that women can know how men feel about paying alimony, paying somebody spousal support who you're no longer in a relationship with. It needs to happen. I think it's a good thing. Now, the Supreme Court ruled that Spousal support should be applied equally to both genders. But men, don't get too excited because out of the 400,000 uh, spousal support cases out there, alimony cases out there, only 3% of men actually receive 
spousal support. So we got a long, 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 long way to go. But even so, just that little 3%, man, women are up in arms. I've been reading stuff, I mean, I hear women talk about, anytime I hear women talk about alimony, they go crazy when they find out a man is receiving alimony. But the, many of these same women, if you talk about the shoe being on the other foot or the ruling being re reversed, as in Mary J. Blige's case, they don't have a problem with that. Many of these same women don't have a pro didn't have a problem with Paul McCartney's wife raking in like a half a billion dollars. What about Tiger wife? What about Harrison Ford's wife? What about Stephen Costner ex-wife? All these women walked off with tens of millions, in some cases hundreds of millions of dollars. Nobody had a problem with that. So I just look at it like, man, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. On a personal note, it's not something that I will pursue. I, I, I'm not that type. I, don't, I feel weird as a man. I would feel weird eating off a woman. That's just not how I'm built. That's not how I am at all. Um, but 30K a month, man, that's a lot of money. 30K a month. I don't believe that a person should live the same lifestyle as they live with a person who maybe had a lot more than they had financially. Like when you leave that, you should leave something. Something should be left behind also. That lifestyle should, should, should be also left behind. I don't think a person should be rewarded just because they was in the relationship. Once that relationship ends, I think you ought to lose those all those perks that you got. Whether you're a male or a female, you should lose those perks. Unless you work for those perks. Go get a damn job, men and women. Get a job. I really I, That's how I feel. Now, unless... There's a child involved. That's not, that's something different. If I if I put one in you, if I got you got my baby, that's something totally different. I can understand that. But even 30,000 racks, man, that's a lot of money. Man, that's a lot of money. 30 racks. Nah. Even if somebody do, even if there are children involved. You shouldn't be able to get how that live that exact same lifestyle, you know, not with not off somebody else's money. If y'all work to make that money together, and y'all built that empire together. That's fine. But just because you gave that person kids. That alone should not get you. That type of bread and get you that type of access where you still have that exact same lifestyle. Now. Nah. No. There's got to be a downside to divorce. It's too much upside. That's why I think there's a lot of divorce out there in the first place. Too much upside to divorce. There has to be a downside. There has to be some type of downside to divorce. Too many people are rushing in. You know what? Let me do it like this. Do this. Boom. I'm gone. And now men are doing the same thing. Men are like... Men are doing a lot of things that women do on all levels. They dancing like women, talking like women, walking like women, dressing like women, filing for divorce like women. I mean, the things that they ask for. I mean, I'm not just saying filing for divorce itself, but I'm just saying the things that they'll put in a divorce. A lot of, a lot of little petty things that they'll put in a divorce. Like, I want to be able to keep the picture frames. <laughs> man, tighten up, man. But 30 racks, I just keep going back to 30 racks with no children involved? Are you serious? $30,000, man, I don't give a damn who the person is. Just because she married J. Blige and she got some money, she's supposed to be taken advantage of. She's, she's supposed to not be given some type of consideration just because she's Mary J. Blige. 
People see her as a celebrity. Oh, she got it. Give it up. Nah, man, that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Giving somebody spousal support, paying somebody spousal support who you're no longer in a relationship with, that's like giving somebody wages who's no longer employed by you. That makes no sense. That's ridiculous. And I think the laws need to change. And I think that because women, many women are now feeling that same kind of pain that men are feeling, I think that there are going to be some changes to, to the laws. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Again, I can't see it. As a man, I never want to eat off a woman. But at the same time, as a man, depending on what that situation is for the other man, who knows what sacrifices he made? You know, who knows what he went through in his personal relationship? So that's hard to speak on. But I'm opening it up to discussion because I want to know what y'all think. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.